Hi, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to look at publishing a Google Slide document, which works exactly the same in Google Docs. So it kind of it's a skill that transfers. So um, first of all, it's really easy to do. You just go up to File in your Google Slide, and you come down to Publish to the Web. And when you open that setting up, you have a few options here. You can publish it with a link or an embed code. And then you have some settings down below that will work for either one. So you can start the slideshow as soon as the player loads, which that's my favorite option. Um, you can also give your slides so many seconds. So if you want them to stay on for 10, 15 seconds, 30 seconds every minute, um, just you can set your interval here. And then you can set it to restart so that it loops constantly. Um, so if you want something just up on the board and you want it to constantly be going, you'll want to restart the slideshow. Um, under this one, you have some privacy settings. So right here, you can restrict access to your school district or you can leave it open to everyone on the inter internet. Um, so if I want just my kids to be able to see this, I'm gonna select that. If I really don't care if everybody sees my Google slide or my document, then I'm going to just leave that open. Now, whether to choose a link or an embed code. So a link is much easier to email out. It's easy to post on Classroom. It's easy to get to kids. Embed codes, you'll need that if you have a website that you run and you want to post it, embed it onto your website. So I do that with one of my Google Docs. I'll show you real quick. I have my Classcraft store. This, these are the items that kids can purchase um, just kind of, um, the perks that they get in playing the game in my classroom. And, um, I wanted this to be live so that I can go back and make changes on my document. And so I used publish to the web. And so here is my document. You can see it's the same exact thing. So if I want to add something in, I can add no school today. Now that one's fictitious. So we're going to read delete that one but i just wanted you to see what happens so now this document is a live living document i go back to my web page and you'll see it's not updated so it's still left on number 22 and when i reload that web page it goes back and grabs the last edit so it's instant it'll update instantly sometimes you'll have to get the kids to um refresh though. So I'm going to get rid of that so they don't, so I, the kids don't think that they can get out of school today. So it works the same way with your Google Slides. If you go to your Google Slide and you make a change, then it's going to um, immediately be published onto the web. So I'm going to go ahead and change these settings and I'm going to hit publish. It's going to ask you, are you sure? And I'm going to say yes. So I've got the link right here that I can copy and paste. I can still change my settings here, by the way. I can still add to restart or take it off. Got my embed code. This is the code you'll need to copy and paste if you're gonna put it on a Google site. And you can also go right here and grab your Gmail, Facebook, or Twitter. So if you're using social media, you can throw them right out into your Facebook account. So it's really handy being able to publish to the web. Um, one of my favorites is that I like to keep a bulletin board. I've been so busy this, this year. I haven't updated it. Please don't judge me. But I like to keep a bulletin board, which is actually going to be not my next video. And um, this is actually published to the web, too. And it's live on my um, homepage. So you can see right here is my digital... Um, bulletin board. I have to fix the sizing of it. That's why I'm not quite ready to do a video on it. But when I make changes on it, it automatically live on my website. So the kids can go see today's agenda and I can change it every day. And it just works fantastic. So publishing your Google slides, publishing your documents, all very worthwhile. So I hope you enjoyed today's video and I thank you for coming and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.